do you have heated headlights guess what i don't but i soon will stay tuned What's up, what's up everybody? Trust Trucker coming at you here. We are here in Miami. I'm leaving tomorrow after I unload a ship. I got to head back to Georgia. We'll take a week off. Um, wife's got some things we have to deal with. So, honestly, I don't know when this video will come out. Today is Saturday the 7th. Um, tomorrow's the 8th. But once I leave the house, I'll be running the road. Everybody knows it's winter time. For people who do not know, Coronadas suck in the winter if you have LED headlights. LED headlights do not produce any heat on the lenses. The way a Coronada is set up, it destroys your visibility. There's bad design. Looks good, but bad design. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Y'all see this on the Coronada? I mean, this cavity here, during the winter when it's snowing, snow just cakes in here and builds up and builds up and builds up in ice. It'll eventually build all the way out here to where you cannot see. I've spent so many daggone winters where it just absolutely builds up inside this cavity and I have to keep pulling over because I can't see what I'm daggone doing. I can't see where I'm going. So. We have us a set of rigid headlights down here. Truck light headlights. They are proud of these bad boys. They are absolutely heated. So once it gets to 40 degrees, the elements come on. It's got defroster elements, just like, just like on your car windows. So it'll actually heat the headlights and keep any kind of snow, anything from building up on the headlights. So that's freaking cool. That's a good thing. We have to have that anytime you're dealing with winter snow and ice because if you can't see it's pointless another downside is about these well downside to these is that when you do have that that problem i mean these led headlights are great during normal conditions but in winter they're no good now when it builds up with snow generally it's going to build up well, you need to pull over, which is what I had to do. Three times I had to pull over to wipe the snow out of here and the ice and scrape the ice off the, off, off the headlight. But now another downside to that is, well, generally if it's that bad, sometimes the roads aren't in a good place for you to pull over. You're scared you're gonna pull over somewhere and then not be able to get out because if, if it's building up that bad and the roads are bad, well then, now you're worried about getting back on the road and getting going. So it's best to just, just ixnate this whole daggone thing, put heated headlights on your, on your truck, and then we'll be done with it. So let's get these changed out. I guess we're gonna kind of do us a little open box here. I don't know if y'all can see this, $762 for a set of these headlights. Woo! Man, that's one of the things that make you go, ET say, ouch. But you gotta have them. They are pretty freaking big. You do not remove. You got your plugs. But you just plug right in the harness so they're just quick quick and simple quick and simple plug and play headlights but as you can see tells you this is the top right up here you can see your elements in here so 50 degrees these elements are automatically come on and keep your headlight warm and you have i guess these are the flickers uh, use pigtail with uh, and 12 volt Jeep applications. Okay, so it's, if you got a different prong, 
with the three pins like that, then you can use these for those kind of types of applications. You just shove this bad boy in there. Y'all you, you, get the gist of it. These things are actually pretty freaking tight. Man, it's tight. But yeah, shove it in and you plug that if you have that type of connection. But, you know, we'll see. Anyway, y'all, we're going to get this installed and we'll see you what this finished product is. Stay tuned. All right, all right, everybody. Now, my headlights, I've stripped the wires because I'm not going to use the plugs that actually come with it. Because since, you know, a lot of this stuff is different than what's on a Coronada, I have Amazon three wire plugs to change out with these small pins, which these pins don't line up with the harness of these small pins. But we've got the lights out, or we've got it got the outside cover off I've got the light out now on the inside I actually have the harness as you can see here this is what I had on the one before so when I pulled the old headlight out let's get it on down here there we go Here's my light. This is a really good light. I like these lights. They really light up bright. So I swapped the harnesses. I was using these, these Amazon pigtails here. So all I have to do is just put the same male ends or female ends. Yeah, female ends on these and then I can swap out. So between winter and summer, I can swap out. Or I can leave them as is, it doesn't matter. But at least it'll be easy to swap out once I get um, the new ones cut and put onto the new headlights. So let's work on that and then we'll give you an update in just a minute. So now we've got our fit in here. Got us some butt connectors. We don't need this. So we're gonna swap off our battery off our drill. We're gonna go with our heat gun. Set that up there. All right, get our wire strippers. Strip us some wires. Okay, now, on these, I've already tested the wire and harness on this itself. So I know what color's what. The black is the ground. The blue is the bright, the red is the low beams. So actually on the headlight here, it's got white as ground. You got LB on the green and HB for the red. So we know high beam, low beam, ground. So we just take, get us some butt connectors. Down in there. Grab us a butt connector for the high beam. The red is the high beam. You twist these together. Once you throw a, a heat a solder heat shrink over it, then you pull it over, and then when you heat gun that. Like so. It'll actually solder that connection. Once the heat gun warms up a little bit. All right, there we go. She's starting to melt.
All right, then we'll just solder, heat shrink the rest of the, the tubing. Probably should get a better, different battery because this one actually is only like one bar, so it's low. And it doesn't work too good when you're down to one bar. Either way, y'all get the gist of what we're doing here. Next one is the ground, which is the white. Get us another solder heat shrink. Go across it, pull down, twist these together. Once you got it all twisted together, pull that across same thing on here pull that over ground low beam red we already established as the low beam all right then we put that in there and then we're good to go anyway y'all we're gonna finish this and then we'll show you all the final product once we get this side that side done we'll flip the hood and then we'll show y'all stay tuned all right everybody we are back with the final result here we've got them in as y'all can see we got that bad boy shining see over here she's shining pretty bright only the top half lights up when we put it in We'll come on over here. We'll flip the brights on. Got our buzzer beeping. Let's hit some highs. And as y'all can see now, now we have brights. You've got top and bottom one lit. And top and bottom one lit here, y'all. So here we are. There's mean green right there. I love that drop visor. When I leave here, I'm going to have to get her nice and clean. And shined up all right y'all there we go that is the truck light by rigid industries they are some good freaking headlights let's see what model are these these are the model well let's see it's on the back these are the heated inch two leds Heated lens with H3, H4 adapter. So these are the 55005 models. Um, like I say, these are $800 or $762. They are pricey. But I do suggest you keeping these headlights. These headlights are still good. These are the ones that are non-heated. So all I have to do is take and swap these out. Pull and swap them out. And then, so if I only want to run these, save, save the LED part of it. You know, because LEDs only have any light bulb only has so many hours. So run these in the winter. There's only three screws you take out. The ring comes out. Bam, swap. Now that I've got the connectors on the back of them here, all I have to do is take and swap these connectors here. Plug and play these bad boys, and then we are good to go, y'all. Anyway, we hope everybody's had them a good, safe, blessed weekend. We hope y'all are enjoying life. We hope you are feeling frisky feeling fun y'all know all the good things in life here but yes like i say this is Terrence trucker and we will see y'all in the next video y'all peace out even when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never answered a no man i still go go go